good seat, man. Yeah, yeah, good seat. Hey, Joel, guess what time it is? Uh, hold on there, brother. Right, hold on. No, it ain't we got, time we got people yet. watching already. Let's get. What do you mean it's not time? <laughs> what do you mean it's not time? Yeah. There we people go. in the audience. We got. Uh, there we are. There we are. Yeah, a little bit bigger. We are here. Hey, guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, brother? Well, Keith? it is June first, Saturday, June first, two thousand nineteen. So that means it must be time for the Smack and Jack live once again. Okay, and I'm going to take your word for it there. Yeah. Uh, hope everybody had a great Memorial Day. We got a great show for you today. Uh, we're quite sure we were going to have it, so it might be a little rough. <laughs> we're, we're, we're never rough. So. We're teetering between rust and rough. Right, right. So uh, anyway, I got my coffee. You get your coffee. Uh, grab got it, mine. sit down, relax, and uh, we will be right back. All right, ready to go? Yeah. Ready to go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-host Keith and Joel Wonderman. Hey. hey, what's, what's going, going on? Right? Hey, Leonard Brad, we got a couple people watching this morning. We're not quite I synced tell you, up. And I, you know, not synced up, and I'm still full of, uh, I can't be sick anymore. It's got to be allergies, but. Uh, got something going on. It is allergy season, so I'll be hacking through the show. And good to see you, Joel. Uh, yeah. Did you have a good uh, Memorial Day weekend? What did you do? Yeah, Memorial Day great weekend. Memorial Day weekend. We went down to the beach. Yeah. Uh, let's see, on Saturday, we went down Saturday morning. It was. Uh, it was chilly all day. It did not get out of the 60s. Wow. So uh, looking anywhere where I could sit in the sun and stay warm because a little breezy. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh. I, I walked down to the beach uh, around 4 o'clock. I walked down to the beach. I uh, got to the end of their little carpet thing that they have there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The steps and all mm -hmm. that. And I stood there. I said, there is no way I can sit on this beach because the wow. wind was blowing. Wow. Was that chilly? <laughs> like, huh? like, so I went back. <laughs> and I sat behind the house with a beautiful view of the trash cans. Nice, good <laughs> in the sun. <laughs> but most importantly, did you have a beer in hand? Um, yeah, well, yes. Oh, yes. Um, relaxing okay, with a beverage. Relax, okay, yeah. good, and then the next day, the next day was probably it was pretty warm. It was complete. Yeah. It was like twenty degrees warmer. It was literally hot on the beach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, good time. How about you, Keith? What did uh, you do? Me? Well, I went down to uh, Betterton, uh, Linda Brad, and I had a good time. I, as I remember, I mean, I'm told I don't remember all of it, but uh, I think we had a good time. Took the boat out for the first time. Okay. And, uh, the maiden voyage, right? Yeah, the maiden voyage. It was great. Right, cool. Yep. So we are in summer. Yeah, That's something. Happened. And I'm, I do have to say, sorry, we we did attend the uh, the media Pank or media Memorial Day parade. Okay, Pancras Band yeah. marched in that, so uh, that that was nice. A very what, and that fun. was Monday. That was Monday. Monday yeah, it turned out to be a perfect day for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, Monday it, was it cleared out real well, yeah. and it was nice. It was, was you know very nice, nice, very nice parade. Some nice uh, you know remarks and comments and so yeah. forth as always. So yeah. Speaking of weather, mm -hmm. uh, we've had some weird weather, haven't we? No kidding. Let uh, us know where you are, how we're, weird the weather has been recently, let's say over the last week. Yes. Because around here, we've had really strong Very thunderstorms, yep. uh, some tornadoes in this area in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Yeah. And somebody had hail, you were saying? Yeah, up in Lancaster, uh, Lancaster area, there was yep. hail. Uh, I saw a video come in from Gap, which isn't too far from here. Now, that might have been last week or so, but there was a you know straight line winds and... Yep. And, you know, every time you turn on the news, it seemed like the last week there was some trees down somewhere yep. in houses. So, yeah, in yeah. this area, a lot of, yeah, it's I mean, very close we to do, we're not used to the, you know, the tornado, tornado uh, winds and, and all that. But a lot of trees on houses and stuff. Fortunately, in our area, we were, we were OK. And but twice at night in my work uh, night <laughs> job, I got those uh uh, yeah, your things on my your phone. phone goes. Right? Yeah. You know what's funny about that? Because everybody's phone goes off at the same yeah. time. It's like, doo, 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 doo. and I'm looking around. It's like, whose phone is this? It's like, oh, it's mine. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That, that so I hope kinda, everybody in our yeah. listening area is is uh, is good. As far no, as that, no roofs missing and yeah, all that. And, yeah. Uh, so, and then out west, they've had uh, uh, May sense. was more t tornadoes, I think, than ever recorded. Wow out there something and, you know mm. and, uh, so anyway we we hope everybody is okay well, global it's warming or not it's global something it's something uh, yeah it's mother nature's not happy about right. something so, right. uh, so okay anyway okay so talk about turmoil i wanted to go over a little bit uh, in our learning curve about some okay. of the issues that we're dealing with right now on our facebook okay uh, so once again this is a 
uh, a new feed that we're putting out for our live and we've had this issue now for about a month and I was hoping by today I'd have kind of an answer as to what's going on okay but I want to show you what happens um, let me just take you through the steps that I do setting up a live feed for Facebook okay uh, that takes care of our announcement the announcement that I send out and then using that same announcement to start our live feed that we're on right now right okay but over the last few weeks they haven't worked for me okay so what are you talking about Joel nobody really knows and I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that at least one or two people actually care about this okay so when I set up um, the announcement mm -hmm. okay so every week I set up the announcement and and what happens is I, I send out the announcement that we're gonna have a live video right and it says smack and jack intends to go live blah 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 all right so that's that's what this is right here and this is actually just a post at, at this time okay so everybody gets that post now in the past what I do is come down here where it says video this is in my um, publishing tools section of Facebook in the past what I do is come down to this part here and I click on videos okay and then when I click on videos it comes to this page here um, and then you'll see this live up here right this live up here is if I want to create a new post or a new feed which is what I had to do just five minutes ago right okay because this post that I had back here right there should show up again here okay and I typically would <laughs> click on that get the embed code mm -hmm. to paste into our broadcasting software that we use okay and then click live and and we'd be going over the last month it has not been working the way it has for the last two years and I was hoping by now either number one it would be fixed or number two I'd be able to research and find an answer however I haven't been able to find an answer for this at all and on my phone when, wow, I, pre good. when I press on that post this is what's been coming up. The page you request cannot be displayed right now. It may be temporarily unavailable. Uh, the link you clicked on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's not finding at all. However, you had the announcement there yes. with the countdown timer, yep. mm -hmm. as we've always seen. Yep. But on my end, um, we're, we're, we, we have nothing. Okay, Thanks. so folks, I know this is not much of a learning curve for anybody because I'm not giving you any answers to this. But I will say it is a little bit of uh, frustration yeah. that the announcement post that we are sending out, we cannot use to, to broadcast our live video. We have to start a new feed, which kind of defeats the purpose. Right. And um, then everybody that was looking at that is lost as to, yes. Exactly. So, you know, you say click get reminder, right. which I do, click get reminder. Right. So I'm getting a reminder to an empty post, right. basically. So. Folks, we're gonna work on that. Uh, yeah, so that's our well, that's our let's say halfway learning curve. If and anybody you has have a couple of messages into Mark Z, and he's just not is he? What? He's he's been playing like hard. He's, to, he's playing the ex. Uh, yes. he's giving you the ex girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> he's not coming back to me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so cool. I'm already irritated with Facebook anyway because I don't have an advertising account still. Right. For absolutely no reason that I can imagine possibly Ugh. think of. So uh, Facebook is on my <clears throat> list. Yeah. So anyway. We're going to continue okay. to do lives right now on Facebook. Yeah. And I, I swear to you, everybody, that we will get on YouTube as soon as I figure it out. Okay. Sounds <laughs> okay. good. Sounds good. All right. So let's move on. Let's move on. Bravo. Yeah. I see we have a few people on today. Let's say good morning to uh, Keith. Good morning, Keith. Yeah, yeah, good Brad, morning. Good, good to see you. Linda Carley. So good to see you on today. Yeah, Carly. Uh, Linda. Good. Hey, Barbara. Joy. On. Richard. Thanks, guys, for joining us today. Now, um, there's a lot more. I don't see all those people. Really? I, yeah. I see a lot of people. Maybe, maybe I'm looking at last three. week's. No. <laughs> That's why it's going so smoothly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lacks, right. the, the last uh, show we We're did. We're running last. All last right, show. so let's talk about malls and bird food. What? So uh, Malls and bird food? What, what is yeah, that so this about? is a very timely uh, topic uh, while people are eating donuts and, and maybe they're having cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're having those like multi-grain pieces of toast with all right, the yeah. Yeah, oatmeal Should be or, that anyway, or grits or something like that grits. for breakfast. What was the other stuff? Wheat Tina. <laughs> wheat I hope you're not <laughs> eating wheat Tina at this moment. Uh, anybody remember that stuff? Man, <laughs> yeah. Give us a yes now or, it's, it, or a no. It, or... They changed the name of it. Now it's called Mortar. <laughs> they build houses out of it. That's right. They yeah. found a better use for it. Yeah. So anyway, um, <clears throat> last year in our house, we had we – had, malls you know occasionally here and there and I yeah. thought hmm, where are these malls coming from so 
I cleaned out our closets real well. <clears throat> Scrubbed them and all that and you know washed everything that was in there. And right now inside the house this year, not I, I don't think I've seen any malls so okay. far. But in the garage a few weeks ago, I walked in at night and there's like malls everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta do something about this. Little yeah. little tiny malls, right? I was like, wow, I, I have to do something about this. So um, last weekend down at the shore, I did a little research, you know, where do these malls come from typically? And you know, of course, if they're in your pantry, it's in the grains and, and all that stuff. So get rid of that if you see malls in your house. Uh, but in the garage, I'm thinking, okay, there could be some like bird food, bird seed, but I, I didn't remember seeing any. We have we have topsoil out there, you know, the planting soils and all that. Right, right. So last week after I got home from the beach, oh, okay, yeah, some moth music there. Yeah. <laughs> So last week after I got home from the beach, I you know went into the garage and I started looking around. Lo and behold, there was a half bag of uh, bird seed out there. And uh, let let's see what happens when I open up that that bag of bird seed. I have the footage right here. I um, made it kind of short. Okay, so this is our our half used bag now of bird seed. How old is this bag? Alan? Well, I'm gonna say this is at least a year. It, this might be two years old. So you're really lucky there's not trees growing in it. To begin exactly. With. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is what happens. Let's see here. Hopefully you can see some of this. There we go. And there you uh, see all those yeah. malls coming uh. flying out. Yeah. There, there they are. Yeah. See those malls? Wow. Yep. Yeah. I can so see yeah. now okay. around the garage, you see little larvae too. Okay. And for those who saw our show last year, Keith, remember mm -hmm. we talked yes, about yep. our fire pit? Yes. And I had to take out the, uh, what's that called? The the, uh, the jet the, or something? The, yeah. Uh, the, so there's a little worm, a little larvae worm inside of my fire pit nozzle dial mm -hmm. that was completely blocking the gas. Now, some people have these issues on their gas grill, mm -hmm. and that's what it was. It was a moth larvae. So... <clears throat> Check your garage. <clears throat> Make sure you don't have any seed hanging out in there. You yeah. know, bird seed. It could actually be grass seed too. I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, any any sure. type of you know material like that. Yeah. So check it out. If you have it, just take it outside, put it in a trash can, and I threw in some mothballs. Yeah. And I used to. Uh, this is going back a ways, but when I had a house, I used to keep uh, sesame seeds outside because I like sesame seeds on anything. Put them on a pretzel here. Yeah. Or there. Uh... Oh. I... I sincerely thought you were going somewhere. With you that. got it, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> who the heck carried? Who, who, who well, I was going to continue that. I was, was, was going to say, "Wow, did you go ahead and put that on your buns and all that?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, now I also wanted to talk about mothballs for just a minute. Yeah. So I went to Home Depot to get mothballs, and, and Home Depot only had the little little packets that you put in your closets. Right. So that's for small containers or your closets. Um, so when I went to Lowe's last week, they actually had the, the old fashioned mothballs, but okay. now they, they all come in packets because I guess they don't want you to actually touch the mothballs that themselves. That camphor's uh, quite... Yeah, so uh, the problem with that is, is that my garage is so ventilated because it's, you know, not put together properly, I guess you could say, that the the moth, whatever that camphor yeah. stuff is, is not concentrated enough right. by the time it gets to the moth and it's not doing their job. So, so you anyway. can't get... Remember the... It, Dad used to get... The flakes and put them underneath. I think the trailer. You, I think you can still get the flakes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and and spread them out. So what I ordered is uh, moth traps. They have moth traps, and you put in like the little chemical that the um, the uh, female moths emit. Okay. Uh, when it's time for mating, so you put that chemical onto the moth trap, and the moths come in, and they stick to the walls of the moth trap, and then you then you throw it out. See. So uh, side question: How do they harvest that stuff? <clears throat> <laughs> Speaking of uh, jokes and probably really bad jokes, uh, let's get on any to, worse than that one. <laughs> let's yes. get on to our jokes let's of the day. Okay. All right, here we go. Jokes of the day, right from the Jokopedia. Oops. All right, moving on here. Oh, so, oh, okay, nice. We have a little mm. joke applause yeah. coming on. Everybody's just like, "Come on, get that joke. Let's get this show rolling." Okay, so we only have two jokes today because I okay. knew we were going to be a little bit long-winded. Um, okay, so are you you're gonna play a little oh, something? Well, you gonna do a little okay, something over there, dude? My All right. Out here. Okay, so here we go. Joke number one, folks. Listen up, because this is gonna be one you're gonna to want to tell around the table tonight. What did the pantyhose say to the nylons at the family reunion? What? Wow, we really run in the family. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. yes, very good. 
All right. That's a good one. Like, one more. This this is like a little bit of dialogue here. So a little boy returned from the grocery store with his mom. While he while his mom put away the groceries, the little boy opened his box of animal crackers and spread them all over the kitchen table. What are you doing? asked his mom. Well, the box says you shouldn't eat them if the seal is broken, said the little boy. I'm looking for the seal. <laughs> Have they ever had a seal as a cookie? Shut up! <laughs> Alright, that's all we got today. Very so good, very good. Figured very we'll good, stop good. right very there. Good. Right yeah, there, okay? Yeah. Alright, Keith, that brings us very good. up to uh, trivia. trivia. Okay. Yeah, trivia. Okay, so folks, once let's, again, let's remind ourselves what we need to do. So get your fingers moving. Right. And if you, brain have an answer, yep, yep. Yep. if you have an answer for us, uh, mm -hmm. go ahead and type it in. You can type all your answers into one response. You can type in a number of responses. As we go. Okay. okay. And, uh, and then we'll move on to our facts, and we'll come back to the trivia answers. That gives everybody a, a chance to get yeah. the um, okay. trivia answers. Yeah. And our prize today, Keith, is? Oh, it's the same as last week, and I can't remember. Oh, it was nothing. <sighs> Nothing. Well, man, All right. Don't yeah. we have the wah, wah, wah? Where's yeah, the that's wah, the wah, trombone wah. one. Oh, sad trombone. Yeah, sad trombone. <laughs> All right, so we have a lot at stake here, folks, so get your get your minds moving. <clears throat> the weekend is counting on it. Yes. <laughs> that's uh, right. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so here we go, Keith. <laughs> okay, Peter and the Wolf is a musical composition written by which Russian Soviet composer? Oh. Peter and the Wolf. Okay. Now I can. Hmm. Hey, Tom. You should know that, but uh, it's an ugly planet. A bug planet is a line <laughs> from what 1997 American satirical satirical military science fiction film. I had that word earlier. Uh, <clears throat> Robert Penn Warren received the 1947 Pulitzer for what political fiction novel? Hmm. These are tough. I don't know yeah. any of these. Yeah. Uh, Anybody have any of this? Yeah. All right, moving uh, on. The 1980s television show Moonlighting, uh, on the 1980s uh, television show Moonlighting, what was the name of Maddie Hayes' detective, detective agency? And I can see it on the door, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, in 2008, the video technology, what video technology was used for the first time in FIFA World Cup? Yeah, 2018. Yeah, 2018. I guess that would yes, be and I remember. Uh, uh, <clears throat> what is the name of the former immigration inspection agent's uh, station located in New York Harbor? Okay. I think we'll stop it there. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Yep, yep. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So let's do a quick review, folks. Peter and the Wolf ah. is a musical composition, composition written by which Russian Soviet composer? All right. It's an ugly planet a bug planet is a line from what 1997 american satirical military science fiction film that's a lot of that, yeah mouthful there yeah robert penn warren received the 1947 pulitzer for what political fiction novel on the 1980s television show moonlighting what was the name of maddie hayes's detective agency and in 2018, what video technology was used for the first time in FIFA World Cup? What is the name of the former immigration inspection station located in New York Harbor? Okay, okay. I should know that. Yes, I Richard, recently. I do agree. These <coughs> questions are hard this week. They're very tough. <laughs> so we so. don't want to make anything easy for no, these folks. Uh, you know? uh, uh, we're we're no, not about that. Know, we, yeah, we want to get lazy here. We've been doing right. this for a little while. And, uh, All right. Mm -hmm. All right. What, what we got to marinate facts here? Yeah. Here we go, Keith. Uh, facts of the day. Uh, after the invention of the bicycle, the average distance between birthplaces of spouses in England increased from one mile to 30 miles. Huh. Does that mean they could, they could go out uh, looking for the spouses that far away, or they would run that far much farther away from <laughs> their spouse? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Very, very clever. <clears throat> we, we do not know that answer. No, okay. <clears throat> All right. A bank robbery has to take place during office hours. Otherwise, it is recorded as a burglary. Yeah, so they're all like, all right, set your watches, guys. Yeah, it's like, we, I don't we know want what this to be a burglary you're right, you're right. when we see this in the paper tomorrow. <laughs> right. right? Uh, the most uh, disproportionately common physical injury diagnosis in Texas is an insect bite. Yeah, how about hmm. that? Yeah. Hmm. Injury diagnosis. This is my favorite, why is it a fact, fact. Yes, this is great. 46% of couples engage in Netflix cheating. Watching Netflix shows without their partner 
even when they've agreed to watch it together. Wow, that's that is that's when you got a pretty good relationship, and if that's all you have to worry about, yeah. you've got it. Yeah. You've got it pretty. Wonder good. what the uh, divorce rate because of that is. I'm going to say it's point nil. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, moving on. All right, some firefighters in the U.S. are trained on how to treat aliens in case a UFO crash of a UFO crash or invasion. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So uh, there's a shelf life on that training, yeah, uh, some yeah, sort of. Guess, right? I, I don't think know. so. They got to go back for retraining or whatever. Uh, the reason uh, the Pentagon is not high rise is because of the steel shortage during World War II. So yeah, they just made okay. it one level, I guess. Yeah. Right? Okay. Doesn't explain why they made it into a Pentagon. They would have had to call it something else. This is an interesting one. Charles Darwin married his first cousin and had ten children. Three died as infants, and three were infertile. He uh, was the first to rise, raise the question of incest, if incest may cause weakness in offspring after studying inbred plants in his garden. He should probably have done the study on the plants before he went yeah. ahead with the... Yeah, you got things a little backwards. Yeah, there, right? that's yeah. probably why we have so many crazy people. In. <clears throat> anyway, uh, 170 Swiss troops accidentally invaded Liechtenstein in 2007 after getting lost during a training exercise. Now, there's one I want to do a little bit more research on. Yeah. Because we were talking about, like, what actually went on there. Did they come in, like, boom, 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 full mm -hmm. on assault? What, what do you think? Uh, well, I don't know. In Liechtenstein, if you sneeze, I've been to Liechtenstein. It's about the size of media. Yeah. Uh, right. It's so, a tiny little place. I mean, right? I don't know how you accidentally. I can see you how you accidentally walked through Liechtenstein, didn't know that you were actually <laughs> right, there. Yes. But, but how did you uh, start yeah, in, was, in, uh, in uh, 2007, mm -hmm. no less? Yeah. You know? It was like. 1947, I would. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. Oh, another toilet no, thing. No, we're all about toilets. <laughs> In 1970, America had over 50,000 paid toilets. By 1980, there were almost none. Yeah. You know, I have never in my life used a paid toilet. Uh, actually, I remember down at the beach uh, when uh, I went a couple okay. times early on. All right. Uh, there was, and I bet you, I guess there's not. Down yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Anymore. No. Uh, <clears throat> 1938, U.S. states. No. In 38, mm -hmm. U.S. states. <clears throat> Let's start that again. <coughs> One second here, ladies and gentlemen. In 38 U.S. states, more than 167,000 children, mostly girls, some as young as 12, were married from 2000 to 2010, mostly to men 18 or older. Isn't that a it's... staggering number? <laughs> <laughs> I read that. I couldn't understand. It's like that's United States. Like this yes, is United States. Right. In, in 38 U.S. states. US states. Young, it's. Uh, I didn't yeah, think that was legal. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm going to say Amish probably. has a big, but I didn't think there was that many states that had Amish. Uh, uh, anyway, yes, it is. Yeah, yes. okay, uh, maybe. Yeah. All right, this <clears throat> one is pretty amazing. Mm -mm. A single gram of poison from Bruno's uh, cask-headed frog is enough to kill 80 people or 300,000 mice. Sure hope I don't have one of them yeah, in my backyard. Yeah, really, me too. Yeah. Right, if you see one of them, yeah. uh, throw the whole bag of bird seed out. Yes, right. <laughs> Let's let say, them eat yeah. that. All right. O.J. Simpson almost played the Terminator, uh, but James Cameron thought his persona was too pleasant to portray such a dark character. Now, this is a great one. That's that too is pleasant. Very he was pretty pleasant All as right. he's hacking away at a... <clears throat> you read that one. I don't know All how right. to pronounce these. I don't know how to pronounce these either. Rujunken, Sarajukan, Norway, and Viginella, Italy, are both situated in deep valleys where mountains block the sun's rays for up to six months every year. So they built gigantic mirrors to reflect daylight downwards. I find that pretty fascinating. Put up a whole lot of mirrors and light up the town. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, yeah, don't... don't uh, Go to the bank with those names. <laughs> yeah. all right. So that's all we got yeah. there. All right, Very let's good. get back to our trivia okay. answers. All right. <laughs> trivia answers. All right, Very good. let's see. Do we have... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yes. We, uh, okay. Very good. Yeah, we got some uh, stuff yeah. right off the bat Spaceballs. Okay. All what, right. What's, what's Spaceballs? Oh, well, it might be the movie. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's Funny joke. Spaceballs, okay. Blue Moon. Blue Moon, El Silent. Okay, here we go. Peter and the Wolf is a musical composition written by which musical... I'm sorry, which Soviet composer? And that would be Sergei Prokofiev. Wow, pretty good, Joel. Yay! Anybody got that? Sergei. All right, moving on. 
It's an ugly planet. A bug planet is a line from the, what 1997 American satirical military oh. science fiction film. And is that what we're saying here? Uh, uh, Spaceballs? Spaceballs? Is that possible? All right, let's find out. Starship, oh, Starship Troopers. Troopers. And that's, I think it had a lot of the same people in it. Okay. Star yeah, it was yeah. about the same. I don't think I've actually seen that one. Okay. Yeah. Robert Penn Warren received the 1947 Pulitzer for what political fiction novel? Do we have a, a response on this here. one? Yeah, da, da, da. let's see. All right. Answer is All the King's Men. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. All right. Moving on. On the 1980s television show Moonlighting, what was the name of Maddie Hayes' detective agency? And Leonard Bragg came up with Blue Moon. And yep, that's exactly oh, okay. what it up with. Got Blue it. Mate. Blue Moon I Detective Agency. Yep. All right, good for yep. you guys. All right, 2018, what video technology was used for the first time in the FIFA World Cup? Anybody get that one? I can remember them talking about it, but I don't even know what it was called. Video Assistant Referees. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Sure what is the name part. of the former immigration inspection station located in New York Harbor? And we have an Ellis Island in here. Uh, and that's the that's what oh, I was yeah. thinking of. Uh, Ellis oh, Island. Ellis Island. Yeah. Very good. I, I couldn't good. remember Ellis Island, but that's what I was trying to remember. Okay. I think that's it for our... Uh, I thought that was Ellis Island. <laughs> Read that one again. That last, the very last one. All right. You're a non-believer. What is the name of the former immigration inspection station located in New York Harbor? Oh, okay, yeah. In the, uh, Ellis Island is. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. You're, you know what I mean? Thinking, like, I'm thinking, thinking an actual of, station, like not a, the, uh, yeah, like a building. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, something yes, like that. So. Yeah, and okay. I guess that's that's kind of what I was direction I was headed to. All right, good, so we've done our trip again. For, uh, Everybody is like minds are exploding at this point. We did our facts. Oh, uh, we had some fun facts too. Can we just do three more fun facts? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. So, uh, not that we uh, you know mm -hmm. haven't done enough facts today, but I found this other uh, site. Banging your head against the wall for one hour burns 150 calories. Wow. So if you want to do that, go ahead. But <laughs> you can instead walk your dog for 45 minutes, which will also do about the same thing. All right. In Switzerland, it's illegal to own just one guinea pig. Okay, guinea wow. pigs are very social animals and are considered victims of abuse if they are alone. Wow, you get yeah. one, you gotta have a couple. Well, we had that. one guinea pig. Uh, and yeah, right? Ooh, uh, Charlie was pretty cool, yeah. Okay, yeah. uh, oh, I forgot to practice this word. Taronophobia is the fear of being tickled by feathers. Wow, okay. The word Taro, I guess, is the Greek word for feather, and phobia is yeah. Greek meaning fear. Okay, okay. so okay. that's all we had for the fun facts. We'll okay. do it. We'll yeah, do a yeah, few yeah. then. Very good. Very good. Uh, okay, yeah. so I think that brings us to our birthday minute. Yeah, of and, then, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna get uh, out of here. It seems like a short show. No, well, yeah, not, maybe not. No, I, I think. For our audience, our show feels like it's about <laughs> eight hours long. We're like, oh my god. They feel gosh. like they gotta go to bed so they can get up and go to work tomorrow. Yeah. It's, like, it's late Sunday afternoon now. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Maybe another another uh, cup of coffee or yes, another right. donut will make yes. things go a little bit smoother. So, All right, well, what we'll do you see, got over uh, there, Keith? Well, we as got far the birthday as our... minute, right? Is that what we're gonna do? That's, that is but what we we're have gonna to do. Get we we have to get into our outfit. I practically uh, forgot about that. Birthday minute. Do we have music? Birthday minute intro right there. Ready? And go. go. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. Get some new props. I mean, these things are just not working anymore. <laughs> uh, Bear with anyway, us, folks, yeah. for the next ten years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, we got as so, far as our okay. celebrities. Yeah, we got some. Uh, just key? a couple of celebrities. Uh, Morgan Freeman, that that voice, Morgan Freeman, yeah. that everybody can associate. He was yeah. born this day, 1937. Andy, this is should have been a trivia thing. <clears throat> Andy Griffith and Marilyn Monroe were bro both born on this day, 1926. That is uh, <coughs> pretty amazing there. <laughs> Excuse me again. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Andy Griffith just died a couple of years ago. Marilyn uh, missed a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, I agree. She did. So, I agree. Uh, but anyway, that's our, that's our uh, celebrities for today. That is for celebrities? What okay. do we got closer to home? Okay, so uh, today is what? June 1st? <coughs> June 1st. June 1st. Now, are we going to do last week or are we going to do that at the end of the... You know what? Let's do, uh, let's do that with um, this week's. 
Okay, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go so today we start out celebrating the birthday of Adrian. Happy birthday today, Adrian. And then starting tomorrow, Sunday, June 2nd, we have Bill, Josh, cousin Josh, by the way, out there in California. Happy birthday. And Kim, happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. All right. Monday, June 3rd, we have uh, David and KC. And Richard, happy birthday, Woo! guys. June 4th, happy birthday to Mark. Hope you have a great day on Tuesday, Mark. June 5th, Wednesday, we have Alex, Deanna, and Shauna. Woo! Happy birthday, happy birthday. On Wednesday, guys. Thursday, Woo, we're working overtime here on Thursday. Okay, we have, yeah, Andrea, Dan, happy birthday, Dan, Donna, Lorraine, Michelle, and Samantha. Woo! Happy birthday on Thursday, June the 6th, folks. And on Friday the seventh, we have Emma's birthday, cousin Emma. Cousin Emma, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And Emma. we needed to say happy birthday to your mom, yes. Deb, okay. who we missed last week on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday guys, yep. out there in Wisconsin. And happy birthday on Friday as well to Nicole, and happy birthday to Shanna. Okay. Hope you have a great happy day birthday. on the seventh. All right. The 8th, June 8th, one week from today. Happy birthday to Justin, Kim, Robin, uh, Sandra, and Samantha. Happy birthday, guys. We hope you have a fantastic week. And have a lot of cake yes. and a lot of celebrating all week and carry it on throughout the year. Are we ready for the birthday outro? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, here that we go. We're going to get out of here. Here we go. Let's go. That was the Smash and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. Boy, I tell you what. You know, that was a marathon. If I did more, a little bit of jogging uh, marathon, I'd probably be in better shape. I mean, this is every Saturday. We are just boom, boom, boom. boom, boom no boom. commercials. Nope. No station breaks. No, you know, brought to you by. That would be kind of nice, though. Wouldn't it? Uh, would but anyway, yes. uh, <laughs> yeah, just 45 minutes of full on content. Quality content. That's right. right. Quality content, yes. education. Yes. Um, um, and, and, you know, some other stuff. Right. In there. A reason to make your coffee go cold. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, folks. So, we're anyway, so happy yes. to join us. Uh, remember to stop by our website. Uh, from mm -hmm. time to time, check out smackandjack.com. Okay. Uh, go to our products page. Check out our product. The uh, the four percent challenge is there. Okay. Uh, that is increasingly getting better and better as uh, Vic puts more content into that program. Okay. If you're interested yeah, in uh, learning how to build a business online, as we are doing, um, and there's other good programs on there as well. Okay. Um, such as eStage. That's the program that we build our pro our website on. Okay. Okay. Our yep. foundation. Okay. So be sure to check that out. Um, and then next week, hopefully we'll be back. As I was saying, uh, Caroline has been doing some lacrosse tournaments. Uh, okay. One right now, as a matter of okay. fact, that I'm not at. Uh, but she has a few more coming up on Saturday, so I might might need to go to one of those tournaments. Okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll so let just you know. keep an ear out. Yeah. Yeah. Keep an eye on those fake announcements that yeah. I send out, right? <laughs> and uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you know yeah, what's going with on. Us. So. We'll get that sorted out eventually. But uh, yeah. As yeah. always, thanks for stopping by. It's great to have you guys uh, watching. Give us um, end of the. I, uh, 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 what the heck is it? I'll try it right there. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes! But anyway, we'll great out. having you. Uh, once again, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch to learn, laugh, and live at smackandjack.com. We'll see you next week. Thank you very guys. much for stopping by. See ya. Smack it in the face of you. Jack it up, jack it up.